Okay, so do you remember two months ago during the election campaign? The Liberals were talking nonstop about how bad guns are and getting tough on crime, right? Leading up to the election, they put out a list of more than 1,500 firearms that they were banning in the name of safety. But the list didn't really make a lot of sense. It's as if the only criteria that they were looking at is black and scary equals bad. And to make matters worse, there were almost zero focus placed on the real problem, which of course is illegal guns being smuggled across the border and gangs using them to commit violence. So many of these restrictions target law-abiding firearms owners. I mean, I'm talking people who like, like farmers and hunters and sports shooters who have gone through a large vetting process. They're licensed. Criminals are not. So while the Liberals are going after law-abiding, responsible firearms owners, what are they doing with the real criminals? You know, those who actually commit crimes with their guns, unlike the farmers and the sports shooters and the hunters. Well, ironically, the Liberals are actually just letting them off the hook. This week, the Trudeau government tabled Bill C-5, an act to amend the Criminal Code and the Controlled Drugs and Substance Act. So this legislation is the exact same as Bill C-22 in the last parliament. If this bill is rammed through, it will allow some offenders to serve their time in house arrest rather than in prison. That's right. In this twisted liberal logic, law-abiding citizens are being forced to hand over their firearms to the government in a buyback program, or they will face massive legal challenges and even time behind bars. Meanwhile, criminals are getting off the hook. So here are some of the crimes that Trudeau thinks we should go soft on. No mandatory sentence needed for the following. Okay, so extortion with a firearm, no problem. Weapons trafficking, discharging a firearm with intent, robbery with a firearm. Okay, what? <laughs> this soft on crime approach is incredibly hypocritical and dangerous. If we want to keep our com community safe, if we want to tackle the real problem, if we want to go after criminals, we have to get serious about crime. Serious about violent crimes committed with firearms deserve mandatory prison time. It is so sad and so shameful that the Liberals are choosing to reward those who commit crimes with firearms while going after those who hunt with them. In what world does that make sense? Listen, if you agree with me, please contact the Justice Minister, Mr. Lametti, and please tell him, do not go soft on crime. Do not let these criminals off the hook. I've provided you with his contact information above. Please do so today.